everyone, Twisted X Viper here, and I've got an AK gameplay for you guys. Um, tips and tricks on using the AK, and I'm playing some Kill Confirmed on Hard Hat. Uh, for this gun, I would simply recommend the suppressor attachment uh, because it's good to uh, stay silent with this gun because it doesn't always kill instantly. It's very unpredictable. So it's definitely useful, and the impact proficiency I'm using in this gameplay, because um, when I get hit and this thing doesn't kill them, I like to, you know, fade away and get a nice kill on them through the wall or something. So, yeah, and uh, right now I'm using the Scavenger Pro, um, simply because I like having more ammo and being able to have more mags and crap like that and I'm using quick draw to aim down the sights faster because that really does help you uh, if you you are it's like uh, stopping power from Modern Warfare 2 really it helps you win gunfights a lot more often than where you when you used a different perk so that's mainly why I'm using that and to get a faster aim down sight and uh, stalker so I can move while my sights are aimed down a lot faster and I have the assault package on right now. I'm using Pred Reaper and AC-130. Um, I like going for AC-130s. It's a lot of fun. And this gun is definitely a good weapon to do that with. And I just got a Pred, but I died, unfortunately. And I'm not going to Oh, I got a kill. Yeah, so now at the gameplay, um, I would recommend playing Kill Confirmed if you guys are trying to rank up. Because you do get a lot of XP. Um, you don't... I don't know. I was rushing here. But you don't always want to rush and kill confirmed. And you don't always want to go for the dog tags that are on the ground. Because that could easily ruin your run and cause you to die. And give the enemy some more points instead of you. So that's just something to keep in mind. And I would also recommend playing Drop Zone. That's mainly what I play. Uh, a lot of my gameplays are in that game mode. And I'm camping a lot right here, <laughs> sorry about that, but I was really going for a good gameplay, and I thought this was it, so, um, yeah, and I'm playing with my Twisted Clan right here, and Impact can really help on several maps, and several settings, and there, I just got a double kill, I think this is actually the kill streak that I went on to get my AC-130, and... I don't know, um, impact actually does not increase your damage. I know a lot of people might think that, but it really doesn't. Um, I think it actually w is um, worse than kick in some situations, because kick allows you to have less recoil, but the AK really doesn't have that much recoil, so I figured that I might as well just try an impact frequency on it and hope for the best. So, yeah. And here I'm closing in on my AC-130. I'm almost going to get killed by this heli right here. It's shooting at me, so I make a run for it. And I really had nowhere to go here. I know it was kind of stupid to just um, run around while I still have my Reaper. But um, it was kind of stupid to lie there as well. Because it, I think I will get killed while I'm in this, but I will get my AC. Uh, I would certainly recommend using these kill streaks because... It's not really difficult to get an AC-130 with these kill streaks. Uh, I mean, the Reaper isn't really that good, and it's easy to get shot down and stuff. But if you get, you only need like three kills with it to get the AC-130. So uh, it's definitely a smart kill streak to use if you're going for them. And yeah, the AK is probably not the best gun in the world. It doesn't have the best damage. It probably takes about half mag to kill someone sometimes. And it depends on how you, if you get lucky or not. But I would recommend using it. I love it. Um, it I've used it for a very long time, and I would definitely recommend using it because it's a good. I don't know how that guy saw me, but probably because I didn't have sass and all, they probably had to spy a plane or UAV or whatever they call it. But uh, here's my AC-130. Uh, I'm not very skilled with the AC-130. I really need to get better at them. <laughs> But, I I think I got like four kills maybe, because they're all in the middle. This really isn't a good map that 
a bit of a map for air support at least. And I was hoping to just get a couple kills. So, yeah, the AK is also good with attachments, proficiency, red dot, and suppressor because the red dot increases your accuracy and it gives you pinpoint accuracy. So that's why I really like it. Um, but if you're at a low weapon level, I would definitely recommend using the silencer and impact. Um, but high level, I would try out the suppressor in um, Red Dot. And if you guys don't like it, then switch back just as a suppressor. Because uh, they're both, both setups are good. And they allow you to get good kill streaks. So uh, it's no big whether you use whatever, but, um, yeah, the extended mag is also helpful on this because you need to reload a lot with this gun, um, as you can see I reload a ton, and I have portable radar and claymore here, the claymore I just like because it stops people like right there from proceeding, and portable radar to find men around you, but this game plays over guys, um, my final KD was... I think 37 and 5, something like that. Um, 34 and 6, sorry. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this gameplay. Uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe and like the video. Um, we'll be posting more videos with tips and tricks on how to use the guns. And thanks for watching. See you guys later.